from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Last month, I began collecting hydro bills from my constituents to show the Premier what the reality is for hydro users in Ontario. Families in my community are at a breaking point, and I have got over 100 bills sitting here on my desk to prove it. While dropping their bills off, I've heard from families and seniors in Oshawa that set alarms to do their laundry in the middle of the night and lower their food budget just to keep the lights on. This is the reality in my community. Will the Premier offer real solutions to hydro users in Oshawa, or should we just continue living in the dark? Premier. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm very pleased, uh, pleased to rise and answer the question from the uh, member of the opposition. Um, it is important for us as a party to ensure that we do put programs in place to help families um, like those in Oshawa, like those in, in all parts of the province, Mr. Speaker, and that's why yesterday I was so pleased to see that um, our bill that helping families with the 8 percent reduction passed through this House unanimously, Mr. Speaker. I think that's very important. We also have the OESP program, which I know, Mr. Speaker, helps families save up to $45 a month, and in some cases, if they qualify, Mr. Speaker, if they have uh, a medical condition that they need to use equipment for, they can get up to $75 a month. And some other good news that's going to help families, Mr. Speaker, is, is yesterday, the Ontario Energy Board has announced that uh, residential and small business electricity prices will not increase, Mr. Speaker, um, for the next six-month period. Wow. So we've got the OEB uh, as a quasi-judicial organization, uh, you know, making sure that they're protecting on Ontario ratepayers as well, Mr. Speaker. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. And back to the Premier. Under the Liberal government, hydro bills have nearly quadrupled since 2003, and it's Ontarians that have been forced to pay for Liberal mismanagement and mistakes. While dropping a hydro bill off at my office, a constituent named Jeff told me that his plan for the winter is to turn his thermostat down to 62 degrees and rely on a heavy housecoat and warm slippers. Again, this is the reality in my community. Will the Premier commit to lowering hydro rates in Ontario, or should my constituents just keep turning the thermostat down instead? Thank you, Minister.